Jackson and I'm with the leadership team here at Montgomery Bakehouse and I'm here right now with the founders of the Sanctuary Blueberry Farm, Dr. Tom and Evangeline Reed and the Sanctuary Blueberry Farm is located in Montgomery, Texas. It's 18430 Kincaid Road West and um, all of their blueberries are the freshest blueberries that are around here and you can pick them yourself. And so we're just going to ask them a few questions. Hi, how are you all doing today? Doing we're great. doing wonderful. Thank, Thank you, Caitlin. Awesome. Um, well, there's a few questions that I have. Um, so how did y'all st get to start here and um, what made you want to start? Well, um, we were uh, living in town in, in the woodlands for, for a long, long time. And uh, I've always been interested in, in gardening. And, and I had my little plot in, in the woodlands <laughs> and I would grow all my little vegetables. and. And so um, we wanted something a little bit, uh, a little bit different for ourselves and, and our children. So we moved here in Montgomery in 2013. And I looked around and realized we have 70 acres to play with. <laughs> and so I'm thinking, okay, well, I have lots of toys. I have lots of, uh, of new uh, farm equipment to play around with. And we have lots of land to do something uh, to fulfill dreams. And, and and to farm on a larger scale and that's that's kind of just something that's built in me so I was just as excited as a little five-year-old uh, with all of this so we uh, we had um, picked blueberries with the, with the family over the years and just thought you know what they're they're extremely nutritious it's really a good thing it, it's going to be a good thing for uh, Montgomery to have to have it out here where we could get some good fresh wholesome uh, berries and uh, so why not give it a shot and so that was in 2013 and now five years later we're 7,300 plants into it and this is our our first year of, of operation and uh, the response has just been overwhelming I think because people really are looking for something different and and ours um, are uh, organically grown. We, we don't use any chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, anything uh, on our fields and all the weeds that, has to, that have to be done, uh, it's all, we're, they're, all the weeds are, are taken out by hand. And so we, we've tried to make, make it something very, very special where people can, can feel safe and secure knowing that what they're putting in their mouth and on their body is going to be something that's going to be very, very good for them. Awesome. What is the season for blueberries? How long, when does it begin? When does it end? And how long does it last? Well, last week in May, we usually probably open up the farm. There'll be quite a few berries ready for picking by then. And then all the way through June, generally. Um, and, and we'll have some even in the first week or two in July. If you're used to berry picking up in the northern states, you might be used to berries being ripe in August. Other states, they might be July, but for Texas, we're pretty well done by the first week in July. Okay, that's awesome. That gives you a good range of time too. It does. To you pick. got a good you got five, them. six weeks <laughs> right. to pick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, and the best, really, the best time to pick is is in the early morning or in the evening. Uh, there are a fair number of people who have come out in the evening here when it's just it's cooling down, mm -hmm. nice and quiet and they can enjoy the sunset and, and picking blueberries at the same time. It's very peaceful beautiful. Uh, here to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So at Montgomery Bakehouse, we have a ton of blueberry products and um, we love using fresh blueberries for them. Um, what is y'all's favorite blueberry dessert or even just bl <laughs> anything that you can put blueberries in? <laughs> Becca's turnovers. Becca's turnovers, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, <laughs> for, uh, for me, that was a biggie and you know, over the years, I, I've enjoyed apple turnovers and berry turnovers mm -hmm. in general. Uh, but when I tasted my 14-year-old da daughter's uh, uh, recipe for turnovers, blueberry turnovers, uh, it's it's top shelf. It's <laughs> it was top, awesome. top top shelf. So, what are some of the nutritional benefits of blueberries, and what makes y'all passionate about growing them? Nutritional. Um, the the uh, nutritional value is absolutely phenomenal. It's a major antioxidant, and in in today's world, uh, having um, very good wholesome nutritional uh, food product to put in our body is extremely uh, extremely important. And and we really do uh, have to be, if you will, uh, street savvy with what are, we're putting inside of ourselves and and on ourselves, and because if we're if we're not there's uh, 
you know, there can be medical problems, uh, health problems that are associated with what, what we're taking in that's not healthy for us. So the closer we can come to what nature uh, produces on its own, uh, the better off we are. So uh, brain health uh, is, is a biggie um, for, for blueberries. And also uh, it's, it's got cancer fighting properties and cardiovascular disease. Uh, fighting uh, properties and it's extremely good for the GI. It's got a lot of fiber in it, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, uh, um, vitamin K, and it's um, a lot of B vitamins. It's so it's very nutritionally uh, complete. And I, I think that's one of the reasons why it's, it's been so popular is because people realize uh, that putting these wholesome things in our body really does help and your, and your body just says, ah, oh, Thank you. When it does get that, when it does get that value uh, inside, mm -hmm. and most of those health benefits are preserved even when you freeze the berries. Yes. So That's you can. Good point. We have a lot of people that pick, you know, 40 or 50 pounds of blueberries, and they'll put them in Ziploc baggies and freeze them, and use them all throughout the year. That's yep. awesome. So mm -hmm. save a lot of money from buying blueberries in the store, and they have blueberries to use for their smoothies and things. Yeah, and home. we'll just we'll just go in and and go in the freezer and get a handful. Uh, and wash them up. We don't wash them beforehand. Uh, we just freeze them, and then we pull them out, wash them, and put them in a smoothie, and poof, you know, there you go. Awesome. That sounds so good. <laughs> Thanks so much for talking today. We really appreciate it. Make sure y'all come to the Sanctuary Blueberry Farm in Montgomery to pick your own berries. Um, it'll be some family fun time, and they're all the freshest and super good for you. And make sure y'all stop by Montgomery Bakehouse for super good blueberry products. And we'll be celebrating the whole month of July with all different kinds of blueberry products, so make sure y'all check that out.